One of the most beautiful things in this universe is interracial dating. Those who are involved in interracial dating are embarking on one of the most wonderful, blessed spiritual journeys available. Interracial dating is what this world needs and we certainly need more of it. My favorite type of interracial dating is when white men date black women. I am certainly open to dating people of all races and colors. Lately, I've been really into black women. Some people have a problem with this. Once on High Five, the social networking site, I posted some pictures from Swaziland in South Africa. I got an unpleasant email. The person said I was trying to make Africa look bad. I felt this was unfair because I certainly didn't intend to do that. And furthermore, I even went out of my way to show respect. One of his arguments was at Kualusini, forgive me for the pronunciation, which is where the university in Swaziland is located. I took a picture of a sign. He said, that's an old sign. One of my concerns was, as is suggested in promotional material, that you avoid taking pictures of anything related to the government. Certainly the university is something prominent, but I didn't want to offend. I didn't want to go against their ways. So I had to take pictures of things that weren't there. It took me a long while to realize this, but the person who wrote that message really didn't care about me making Africa look bad. I believe he had a problem with the fact I took some pictures with black women. I had to read between the lines. Sometimes it's even more blatant. I was told flat out that I better stay away from his sisters or I will be strung out by someone else. It's interesting how some people claim to be racially tolerant. Some people think they are racially tolerant. But when you peel back enough things, when you get to the right issues, you find out who's really racially tolerant. And interracial dating is one of those key litmus tests. It really takes a tolerant mind to put up with that. Some people are against nothing else but interracial dating. And that's where your racism really comes out. This is what brings the best to the forefront and leaves the rest behind. I don't think it's appropriate to threaten to beat people up because they date black women. That's going against Martin Luther King Jr. on more grounds than one. He was definitely in support of racial integration and interracial dating is one aspect of it. And furthermore, what is less noted is he was definitely in support of nonviolence. Anyone who says white men can't date black women is in the wrong. It is a morally justifiable and a morally acceptable thing to do. And to oppose it is morally unjust. It's ass backwards. There's no justification for such a regressive view. I don't like the whole fighting thing either. If you're really so tough, let's call the cops and we can fight in front of the cops. But the people who threaten to do that probably are the type that gang up on other people. I know very well that there are better ways to get back at someone. 
And anyone who tells me I can't date interracially has a problem. I'm in the right, they're in the wrong. There's this one church in the Twin Cities area called the Holy Conception Unit or the Israelite Church. It's a black nationalist church. They hate white people. They preach on 7th and Nicolette in Minneapolis. Black people don't like them. One black woman was telling me how they're full of hate. Indeed they are. I think it would be so awesome if I, with a black woman, went in front of their church when all of them were there and we kissed for a long, long time. That's what those ass-backwards people deserve. It would be even better if I dated one of their daughters. That would be their worst nightmare, most certainly. A lot of people have the mentality that it's wrong to be racist against me, but it's okay for me to be racist against other people. Of course, that inconsistent, self-serving view is ass-backwards. The people who threaten me, the people who go against me, likely have no qualms about black men dating white women. I'm big enough to not have a problem with that. I don't feel a need to go against that. I think it's perfectly acceptable. I'm not ass backwards. On the surface, these people act like they're defending the sacred honor of their black women. First of all, it's not your women. Women don't belong to you. These people are being racist and sexist at the same time. Women have the right to choose who they want to date. If they want to date outside of their race, that's not for you to tell them to do otherwise. You are inhibiting racial tolerance and integration. You are inhibiting the good things that we need. The fact that I've been threatened, the fact that I have been told I'm making Africa look bad, maybe at first made me second guess. But now I'm getting bolder. And I don't care. I want to do it. I'm not doing it just to spite them. I'm doing it because I want to do it. I'm doing it because it's right. Because it appeals to me. We can't have these double standards where it's okay to date for you, but not for me. I hope you see more of it if you have a problem with it because this needs to be brought to the surface. Your racism cannot be tolerated. When black women date white men, it's a perfectly beautiful thing. And we need to support it. For those of you who have a problem with it, I hope to publicly show some interracial dating right to your face. <laughs>